Today I am sharing 57 passive income strategies that you can use to replace your salary today. My name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to put their stamp on the world and finally achieve their goals. So let's get started. So a lot of these strategies are free and easy to get started. The first 14 on the list are strategies that I personally used to get to six figures of passive income myself with my own business. So some of these require a business, the, the top half of the list requires a business and then after that we get into strategies that anybody can use anytime with or without a business. So there's something in here for everybody. And I absolutely love passive income. So passive income doesn't mean you don't have to work hard. A lot of people think that it means you don't have to do any work at all. But actually it can be a lot of work to set up a good source of passive income. Um, some of these strategies are easy, but others that end up giving you the biggest revenue of all are actually the hardest to set up because if it was easy and if everyone could make money by doing nothing, then of course everyone would do that, but um, they're not. So passive income, what it actually means is you're not trading your time for money. It is the exact opposite. So when you're first earning a passive income, uh, income from passive, uh, when you're first earning passive income, it means you don't get paid for it. You have to set it in motion. And when your strategy is up and running and generating income, this is the point where you normally take more of a step back and reap the rewards of your hard work with minimal effort to keep the income coming in. So another thing to note about passive income is that the more money you have to invest, the less work you have to do. Um, to learn how to do something in the first place. So the hard part is simply trusting other people's knowledge with your cash. And if you don't have any cash to invest, you'll need to take the time to learn how to create income yourself. And some forms of passive income do require a cash injection, such as investing in property or the stock market. And if you don't have any money, it's better to start with other types of passive income that are free to get started with, such as online earning opportunities. Um, to build up your cash reserves. Now the opposite of passive income is active income and this is trading your time for money. So if you really don't have any money and you um, and you want to earn money right now, then the surefire way to do that is just to do some jobs for other people. That's called a active income, but we're not here to learn about that now. I've got another post about active income. So go and check that out if you want to be uh, certain that you're definitely going to earn money, but passive income can be a bit of a gamble. You're not sure whether you're definitely going to earn the money or not. So um, that is why you reap a higher reward for taking that risk in the first place. So I myself have built over 13 streams of online income and most of them are passive, which is fabulous because I go to bed and I wake up and there's money in the bank, which is just amazing. Um, I have had several episodes of debilitating health problems that have left me unable to work for over a year at a time and my passive income just kept coming in while I did no work on the business. All my bills were still paid and I didn't have to worry about money at all during this time, which was fabulous. And funnily enough, my income actually went up when I stopped working. I can't tell you how amazing it is to know that the work that you did in the past is still valid and it's still generating income today. You really can't beat it with anything else. So this post is just a quick overview of the best passive income strategies that you can use to replace your salary. So I'm not going to go into much detail because I already did a different post about the streams of income that I use myself. So you can go and read that post if you want or watch that video if you want to know more about the passive income strategies that I personally use. This is, this is just a quick overview of all of the ideas that I can think of so that you can find something that's right for you to get started with today. And if you don't have any money to invest, it could actually take a while to start reaping the benefits of passive income. It might actually take like one to two years. So you have to be patient. And that's why a lot of people give up on passive income because for those people who can stick with it, despite not seeing any return on investment, they will see the benefits of their patients. I myself started with no money to invest and I built my online business from absolutely nothing at all. I just 
put time into my business, no money. And now I'm in a position where I can take my savings and I can do things like starting property business, which is fantastic. So here are the 57 best passive income strategies to replace your salary. Number one, you could write an ebook, like a PDF document to sell on your website. Now, if you're going to do this, you probably need quite a lot of traffic to your website unless you're going to invest in advertising. But once you've built up an audience through like blogging or advertising, you can then sell them your ebook. And it can take a little effort to create an ebook to start with, but it's well worth it. And my very first ebook that I created, I earned well over six figures over the years just from that first book. Number two, you can put other people's advertisements on your website called banner ads. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best passive income strategies because it doesn't require any effort at all on your part. Um, once you've, you've got at least 10,000 visitors to your blog each month, it's worth joining an ad network such as Google AdSense or media.net. And you can make money by showing other people's adverts on your website. And when you get more traffic, you can join better ad networks such as Mediavine or AdThrive. And I personally um, love Mediavine the most. And that's where I've got all of my other websites. Are, I have banner ads from Mediavine on there. Number three you can do affiliate marketing. So once you've got enough traffic or if you want to invest in ads, you can do something called affiliate marketing, which is promoting other people's products. So you get a small commission every time someone buys a product that you have recommended on your blog. You can join a program called Amazon Associates that, that give you a very tiny little percentage of the money when people click on a link and buy something from Amazon, or you can join other programs such as share a sale where you often get a lot more of the commission, but people don't tend to buy things as often. So it all kind of balances out. Number four, you could self publish a book. If you don't have any traffic to your website, you could still write a book and self publish it on Amazon or other websites. And you can use Amazon services to print books on demand and make more profit from Kindle books because you don't have to pay for the book to be printed. And you still have to get your book found on Amazon. So you can use various different strategies like offering the book for free, getting up lots of reviews and before you start changing your ch charging money for it on Amazon. Number five, you could create a passive membership site. And now when you create a membership site, a lot of people find that they are actually a lot of effort and they're not passive at all, but you can actually make them passive. And I've managed to um, do this myself. So how this works is you charge money for access to a portal where people can network with other people and the value could be in the members in the portal and it doesn't necessarily require you to keep producing more assets all of the time. Um, what I did myself to make mine passive, it wasn't passive to start with, it took a lot of effort, but finally it became passive. So for one of my websites, I created 12 months of meal plans to offer with a membership site and I decided to stop creating the meal plans once I got to 12 months as I felt like that was just enough content and the continued value came from the support group I offered where a health coach supported people with their weight loss goals and this membership is now completely passive for me and generates a good income for me every single month and I don't do any work on it whatsoever which is fantastic. Number six, you could join a network marketing company. And it can actually take quite a lot of hard work to grow a network marketing team. But once you have a good team and as long as people continue to love and order the products, you continue to make an income, even if you stop actively working to grow your team. So um, I think the key to this is to choose a network marketing company that sells products that people absolutely adore and they want to keep buying them just because they like the products, not because they're just trying to make money with business. And I never actually thought I would join a network marketing company, but um, I fell in love with the products and that's why it worked for me. Um, I joined a, an essential oils company. I found the essential oils were life-changing and I 
and naturally shared my passion for them. I found it really easy to grow a team because everybody else thought the same about the products. They absolutely loved them. And that was years and years ago. It was maybe about five years ago now. And I still earn a good passive income from this every single month. And I don't do any work on this business at all now. Number seven, you could create an online course and then you could sell it via your website. So very similar to the membership site, but you create uh, one product and you charge one fee for it, one time only, people buy it and then you make money. You can often charge a lot more money for a course than you can for a monthly membership. So that's a, a good thing about a course. And um, if you don't have an audience, number eight, you could sell the course via a website such as Udemy or, or Skillshare that do take a high commission, but in return, you will probably get noticed a lot more often than you would to your own website if you don't have a high audience, uh, a lot of uh, views on your website. Number nine, you could design t-shirt and apparel. I set up a Shopify store and I've done a combination of both paying a designer to design t-shirts for me and also designing my own t-shirts and I use print on demand apps to automatically print and ship the products which ends up being completely hands off and is absolutely perfect. So this is a great passive income source. Um, if you don't have an audience, again, you can still make money with your designs, but um, you have some of your profits taken away. You can either choose to pay for ads straight to your website, or you could use companies like Amazon Merch, Etsy, or Redbubble to sell designs on their website on your behalf, and they'll take a percentage of the profits. So that's a good way if you don't have your own audience. Number 10, you could do drop shipping. So again, either you need an audience or you need to be paying for somebody else, uh, paying somebody else like Facebook, Google AdWords or Pinterest and sending people straight to your website via paid ads. But you can make quite a good profit with drop shipping other people's products at a low price and selling them at much higher prices. The thing about this is it can take a lot of experimentation to find a product that sells. But when you when you do, you can scale up and set it and forget it for a certain amount of time until product sales will ultimately drop off because um, everyone else will cotton on to the fact that you're doing so well and they'll copy you and um, the product will saturate the market because everybody's selling the same product. So I did this for a good few years um, and it generated very high profits for me. So it worked really well for me at the time. Number 11, you could create some wall art if you have a design streak or you want to pay somebody else to create some designs, you can put some wall art for sale on your own website or you can sell it on places like Etsy or Redbubble. And it can be really profitable because it only costs you once to make a design or costs you nothing if you design them yourself and you sell the designs over and over again. And it can be quite quick to create wall art. Number 12, you can create printables. These are online documents that people print out themselves at home. And actually there's a massive market for printables. I love them. I love to create them. And um, there are millions of other people who also love to pay for printables as well. You can get lots of them free, but you can also pay a lot of money for them. For example, you can create worksheets, meal plans, financial planners, recipes, and so many more ideas that you can either sell them on your own home store or you can sell them somewhere like Etsy. Number 13, create an affiliate program for your products. So if you have your own products, then why not pay other people to sell them on your behalf? So you can um, give a percentage of the profits to other people if they do the hard work of selling the products. And this can be really passive because um, you can set up automatic systems so you don't even have to pay people. It automatically pays people after a refund period. And that works really well. I did that for quite a long time and it worked really well for me. Number 14, invest in the stock market. So this is something you will need to invest money in and it's not really tied to a business. So once you've earned the money somewhere else, you can invest it in the stock market and keep getting a dividend back from the stock market. Number 15, similarly, you need money to invest in buying some properties and then you can rent them out and earn a profit every month from the rental properties. And then also the, the value of the property will go up, um, which leads me on to number 16. You could buy and sell houses. You can do them up, add a lot of value and sell them on and make money that way. Number 17, again, we need, we need money for a lot of these strategies. 
can do peer-to-peer -peer, peer lending by um, investing in more riskier places than the stock market, but you get a much higher return. Number 18, you can invest in high yield savings accounts. Number 19, you can actually get paid to be healthy with apps like Achieve Mint. They actually pay you to use their app and be healthy, which is fantastic. Number 20, you could invest in bonds. So you can get a higher payout, but your investment doesn't usually increase uh, much in time. So it's better for short term cash flow. Number 21, use cashback sites wherever you buy something. Have a little um, a little extension on your browser that tells you um, whether or not you can get cash back from all of the websites you normally buy from anyway. So that's a great way to, to get cash back. Um, 22, remortgage your house and you could take money out of your house and invest it in property and then make money on the second property. It's more of a risky strategy and lots of people don't like to do this but it is a strategy nonetheless. 23, you could use cashback reward cards. So that's um, very similar to the cashback uh, extensions. Number 24, invest in other businesses. You can directly invest in other businesses. It can be a lot more risky, but um, it can pay off if it, if it works in your favor. 25, you could rent out your car on websites like Churro. 26, you could sell your photography if that's something you're into. 27, you could create lesson plans for teachers on a website called Teachers Pay Teachers, which is similar to the printables. 28, you could actually rent out a room in your house. 29, you could set up serviced apartments um, or Airbnbs. 30, you could convert an area of your home to a separate home to sell or rent out. 31, you could set up a Fiverr business and you could pay somebody else to manage it and deliver the services. 32, you could set up a digital agency and again, hire people to deliver the services. 33, if you're into creating music, you could license your music. 34, you could sell digital products on Etsy. 35, you could actually create an app if that's something you're into or you could pay somebody else to create an app for you. 36, you could set up an e-commerce business. So this can be uh, passive because you can outsource the st stock management to a company and ship the product straight to them to send out to customers and then set up system as the, systems that automatically transfer orders to fulfillment companies so you don't have to manage that yourself. 37, you could start a YouTube channel just like this and you can monetize it by turning on YouTube ads or you can also recommend other people's products or you can recommend your own products via your YouTube channel. 38, create an audiobook. If you like to talk more than you can type, you could create an audiobook and sell it via your website or on Amazon. 39, you can get paid to eat out. There's apps such as Seated and they actually give you a discount on your restaurant bill and send you gift cards um, by trying out different restaurants. 40, you could rent out your stuff. If you've got a lot of hobby or hobbies or gadgets related to them, why not charge other people to rent them out? 42, you could rent out your garage. 43, you could buy someone else's blog that's already getting traffic and then just put some banner ads on it and then that's a passive um, strategy that they might not have thought of. 44, you can buy and sell domain names because domain names can increase in price or somebody might really want them. You might have to wait a little while to find a buyer for these though. 45, you could allow ads on your podcast. If you're already creating a podcast anyway, why not have it sponsored by someone else and get paid for it? 46, you can use credit card rewards or cashback. 47, you can invest in property without having to buy one yourself. There's various different websites that allow you to invest in property with other people. 48, you can invest in other people's property refurbs and flips. 49, you could do real estate crowdfunding, which is another way to invest in property. Number 50, use property sources. If you want to invest in your own property, you can pay other people to do the hard work for you, which makes this a very passive strategy if you've got the money. 51, you can buy and sell land. 
Task 52, you could set up vending machines. That's actually something I was on my wish list for many years. I had a really good idea for setting up healthy vending machines. 53, sell products with Amazon FBA. So it's completely passive if you ship your products to Amazon and they sell them on your behalf and they'll take care of shipping the products to the customers the and also the refunds and everything that's included so you don't have to do anything. 54. License a product idea. You can license it to other people or even create a franchise. Believe it or not, number 55, you can actually rent out your garden. 54. You can rent out your parking space. 55. You could allow advertising on your car. You're going to drive it around anyway, so why not put other people's advertising on it and get paid for it? 56. You could get paid for sharing your data if you don't mind sharing it with some apps on your phone. And 57. Not technically a way to make more money, but you could actually make money by spending less money. If there's things that you are spending money on that you don't use or you don't need anymore, just cut them out and there you go. You've increased your money passively every month just by cancelling some subscriptions that you no longer use. So now that you've seen all the, of the available passive income strategies that you might be wondering where to start. So if you're interested in starting your own business, then you might be wondering what tools you would need to start your own passive business. So I have got a free gift for you that gives you all of the tools that I use to create a six figure blog. This is called the ultimate passive income toolkit and you can either click the link below to get that or you can go to this blog post and I'll put a link to this blog post under the video as well. And here are some more related resources that you can read if you are interested in this subject a bit more. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I would love it if you would like this video, leave a comment, let me know have you tried any of these passive income strategies before? Which ones have you tried? And let me know which ones worked for you, which ones are you willing to give a go in the future? And um, take care and have a great day. Bye bye!